Hello, I'm going to be doing a tutorial or just showing you how I put in some Havana twists and my little sister. This is my sister and she was in the last video and I put in some um, some flat twists in her hair. Now in that's her great big bush. <laughs> now we're gonna be doing some Havana twists and we have some Marley hair here. This is the right hair that you want to use for the Havana twist just because it blends in well. Um, so what you want to do is, according to how big or small you want them, we're not going to be doing hers too big. Um, so what we're just going to be using one strand for our twist because she wants them like medium size. So you just want to take the hair and just sort of separate it a little, little bit just so that the hair and the twists can be a nice width. Just like that. You don't even have to like pull it apart. Just separate a little bit like that. And that's So good. I've prepped her hair. Um, what I'm doing is making sure I keep my water bottle on hand so that I can spritz it. And I've also put in some of this shea butter leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to be putting in some tea tree oil and some jojoba oil just to make sure that her hair stays moisturized. So you want to get your parts, however big or small you want them. Like I said, she's going to be doing medium. Just put the hair out of the way. There's a ton of hair, so this requires quite a bit. So this is the size that we're going to be giving them. This part right here is a good size. So we're going to be doing the invisible method. Put a little bit of jojoba on because you really want to make sure that your hair stays moisturized because you do not want your hair breaking. If it's really dry, it'll break. And I'm going to be using just some clear gel just to make sure that her hair itself blends in really good with the Marley hair. And you don't need a lot. I mean, how much product you use is up to you, but you want to be careful not to use too much because you want to be able to have a good grip on the hair. So you just want to get that in good, get the ends good. And what you want to do is, you want to just go ahead and piece it just like that. So now that you have your two parts, you just want to take the hair and just place it right in the middle like that. And what you want to do is you want to take one piece of hair and begin to twist it outward. You can see that. Just twist it out. Take the other piece and twist it the opposite direction. Just hold it really good because you know it'll slip. So just take your time and twist it. Hold it. And then what you want to do is you just want to bring it together and start the twist. And as you go, you can add just a tad bit more gel to it, just so that her strands are laying down in the hair good. 
And this hair twists really easy and it doesn't really tangle. So it's easier for you to get through it faster. sure you're twisting it all the way down to the ends and typically what you would do also is right up here at the root at the root of her hair I didn't do it this time but I would want to do it again you typically want to put a clip right here so that the hair doesn't slip out I didn't do it this time but I'll do it for the rest I remember so you just want to put a clip right at the top. If you don't have a clip, you can put like a little bobby pin or whatever, just to hold that root into place. So if you go ahead and just make sure you twist it all the way down to the end, put a little bit of gel on it just to make sure you seal it good. And then that's how it looks. Once you're done, it'll be a nice long twist. We have three of the twists done. You can see you want to get it nice and close to the root so that it blends in well. And then the ends, you want to make sure that you're twisting it all the way down to the bottom. So as you can see, I finished all of her twists. I'm going to dip her ends in some hot water so that they aren't um, frizzy. And this is how the top looks. You can see really good how it should be. You shouldn't see any knots or anything at the top. It should just look like it's coming right out of her scalp. Turn on. So they're nice and full cool and nice and long.
And yep, so that is how you do some nice thin Havana twists. We didn't do them big, we did them nice and small and manageable for her. 